North Carolina. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I, along with my colleagues who've spoken before me, I'm proud to be able to work on a very sensitive issue in a very collaborative and bipartisan fashion. We did it in a way that was always respectful of the fact that many Americans come from different walks of life and many diverse beliefs and viewpoints. We know that nearly a million Americans are already committed to same-sex marriages who simply want long-term certainty. Not only a million who are already committed to a same-sex marriage, but the millions of people who attended the ceremonies, their friends, and their family. As we went through this bill, we listened to the very sincere concerns of Americans with strongly held religious beliefs who simply wanted to make sure that Congress protects their First Amendment rights, especially the freedom of religion. By casting politics aside and working hard behind the scenes over the past several months, we managed to strike a balance with this legislation. There will be permanent certainty for same-sex couples and they can rest easy knowing their families are secure. And there will be robust protections for churches, religious organizations, protections that are more robust and expansive that currently exist in federal law. I want to, take, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the compromise we reached and what it will mean for our constituents who voiced their concerns over the past few months. This bill protects religious liberty and conscious protections available under the Constitution and federal law, including the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, commonly referred to as RIFRA. This bill cannot be used to diminish or repeal any such protection. The bill also makes clear that no religious organization will be required to provide any services for the celebration of same-sex marriage. Simply put, that means that no church or religious organization will be required to perform, recognize, or celebrate same-sex marriages. We also took steps to protect the tax-exempt status of religious nonprofit organizations. We didn't leave anything ambiguous. We included language that guarantees the bill cannot be used to deny or alter any benefit, right, or status of any otherwise eligible person or entity. This includes tax-exempt status, tax treatment, grants, education funding, loans, scholarships, licenses, and certifications. Put together, the Respect for Marriage Act essentially preserves the status quo we've had in our country for the last seven years since the Supreme Court ruling. Same-sex couples will continue to have the right to get married, now without the fear of government intervention. And churches and religious organizations will continue to operate and worship free from government interference. This is a good compromise. It's one that's based on mutual respect for our fellow Americans, protecting the right Americans who may have different lifestyles or different viewpoints. I'm proud of the work we did with this bill. I'm looking forward to voting yes on it. And I'm grateful for the leadership of so many people who were involved. Of course, Senators Collins, Senator Portman, Senator Baldwin, and Senator Sinema. But I also want to thank the Church of Latter-day Saints, the Seventh-day Adventists, the Council for Christian Colleges and Universities that represent 150 different religious institutions of higher learning here in the United States alone, and they have operations abroad. The National Association of Evangelicals, the Center for Public Justice and its, constant, or its Institutional Religious Freedom Alliance. Madam President, I believe this is a good bill. And bipartisan bills in any environment are difficult. And I think it's why it was so important that we came together, had the courage to work together, recognize the viewpoints at either end of the spectrum, and come up with a carefully crafted compromise that I believe is good for all Americans. And I look forward to everybody voting in favor of it. We will have some opposition, but at the end of the day, I think we'll prevail. And that's a message to so many people out there who want this done. Madam President, thank you. And I yield the floor.